to do another ASMR whisper about my day. Um, I didn't get up to much today. It was my first day off, three day weekend. I did a bit of a hike, nothing crazy. Um, I want to post a nature short of this kind of mountain. It's a hill, but it kind of merges into a mountain. Um, when the creek levels go down after spring runoff, I'm going to cross the creek and climb the mountain. It's not steep enough where you'd need a rope and a drill and all that. It's more of mountaineering. Um, I think I can do it just hiking up. It's very steep, but I've done things like this before. Um, considering maybe doing it with a GoPro and posting it to YouTube. Um, that might be a few months away, see uh, how much the uh, creek dries up, how fast. Um, other than that, I uh, finished that up. I came home. I'm not much of a gamer. I still have only uh, 360 and um, Skyrim that's very glitchy, doesn't really run properly. And kind of what I do is I play and I listen to either like a lecture or some kind of audio book usually on YouTube playing so I can kind of learn something and kind of just zone out with the game. Just kind of using Skyrim is kind of like almost like a doodle pad or like something to just fidget with and kind of focus and just kind of listen to the, the audio book or whatever. Um... So I did that. Um, it kind of got a little bit boring. Um, I'm kind of getting out of that now. I'm kind of wanting to be a little bit more out extroverted, kind of like more active. Like I'm off, I've always been active. Um, but when spring and summer comes around and the sun's out, I cut that out. Like that's more of a winter time thing that I do because I'm not like a skier or anything like that. So, I'm probably going to be replacing those kind of audiobook things that I do with, like, beach days now at this point. Um, I didn't today because it was kind of cloudy and I did the nature hike anyways. Um, so I did this audiobook when I was uh, cooking a lasagna in the oven, so I had to be home anyways. Um, no real chores needed to be done. I have to do the laundry probably tomorrow or on Sunday. Um, I think the audiobook I listened to was um, Hegel or something about philosophy. Um, I listen to philosophy audiobooks sometimes, and to be completely honest, a lot of it goes over my head. I think I retain maybe 50% of it, but not well enough to really explain or teach back to somebody. It kind of just resonates and I kind of um, get it and I'm like, that's something that's interesting and I like to think I get something almost through um, osmosis, almost like it kind of gets into your head and you kind of, in your dreams, um, it explains itself like I've, I've, I've learned a lot of things just kind of by being around either people who are smarter than me or um, tackling issues that are above my like my weight class so to speak um, and it does work to a certain degree I think you do kind of plateau at a certain point and you can't really sharpen up more than what you have but I do understand these books a lot more now than I did like six months or a year ago. Um, and a lot of it is I'll listen to like one of these audiobooks of like Hegel or who else? Like, um, I was going to say Schopenhauer, but I don't really listen to him. I tried, but it's he's really depressive. Um, Foucault, I read a I was reading a book on him, and he just turned out to be a pedophile, so I can't read him. I, I, but anyways, Freud was interesting. Um, I had I 
read a little bit of Freud and then I had listened to a little bit of an audiobook and then I listened to like free lectures like posted by Yale University or whatever kind of explaining it so it's almost like you get like this free course now just sitting around your house it's kind of cool um but I've been doing it in the winter I don't want to be doing it in the summer I want to be listening to music I want to be at the beach I want to be doing like hikes I am gonna film some nature videos my boss at one of my jobs texted me today said I'm doing a good job with the lawns so double middle finger to that old guy who said I was doing a lousy job he can go fuck himself um like straight up like that guy eats his mother's ass or something not to be uh, prof uh, with the profanity here but he offered me more work which is crazy literally crazy because that would mean I would be working seven days a week and I hope I don't get this video flagged by saying all that crap that would really suck but if it, if this gets taken down it's just one video out of I think I have like 1400 videos on this channel most of them are just shorts but whatever um but yeah like seven days a week is too much in the summer I can probably do that in the winter like if it's cloudy out, it gets dark at like four, it's all depressive and like cold and I can't do shit. I can work six, seven days a week in the winter. I can, I can commit to that. Probably. I'm not going to say 100%, but probably I can do that. But in the spring and summer, I'm not going to be doing that. I need at least two days off, hopefully three. And then I can like chill by the creek or go to the beach or whatever. Like you don't want to be working seven days a week in the summer and the spring. That's it's crazy. So I said, no, he understood. He said I was doing a good job. I said like uh, he had a vacation. I said, I hope your trip was good. I don't want to kiss his ass, but like I actually hope his, his vacation was good because this boss I actually kind of like my other boss I used to kind of like but then he was like always he's always lying about shit like pointless shit like he's just he's like a habitual liar like he just lies about things that like you wouldn't even lie about like I'm starting to question like everything he's saying and you can't really have a relationship with somebody if they're just fucking lying about everything all the time and it kind of builds resentments and kind of like there's like this disconnect and it's just awkward and you're like completely on two different wavelengths and it's because they just fabricated everything about themselves and the work environment is all like manipulations to get different people to do different things and then he's like leaving to do his own stuff he's kind of like this he's not really a leader but I don't really resent or hate him anymore, like I resented him for a while, kind of got over it, but it bubbles up every now and again when he tries to blame me on all this other crap, like I posted a video the other day, um, he had this policy, I followed his policy, then his boss, cause he's like the middle management, and his boss saw it, and then he scapegoated me on his own policy, so like there's this shit that it bubbles up every now and again, but the other boss I have is actually really cool and they pay me more than the other job like I get paid relatively decent at the like the place where I do the lawns so I'm happy about that um but yeah I didn't need the extra two days because that would just mean I'd be working seven days a week I wouldn't have time to do these I wouldn't have time to do my nature hikes I wouldn't have time to really go to the gym it would just be like I don't know it'd be like I don't know, pressure washing windows maybe at the other place. I think he was saying I was, that was part of it or something. But anyways, um, it was pretty cool. I said thanks for the offer because if they're offering you more work, that's definitely a good sign. Like if they're trying to take hours away from you, that's obviously a very bad sign. So it just goes to show that I have a lot of haters at that job um, that are kind of afraid that I've been taking either their hours away and they're kind of competitive with me or there's like the grumpy old guy who's just grumpy because he's old but the actual boss that like evaluates the work and owns the place and manages it is saying like hey you're doing a really good job so that was good it was a very welcome text I was kind of wondering like what the hell um 
why is he not texting me back because I had a question about the fertilizer so it took him a day to get back to me but it was all positive um, I had a decently um, a decent paycheck yesterday like a decent increase because I've been doing a little bit more at the lawn place um, it's not strictly lawn but I call it the lawn place because that's probably the lion's share of the hours in the spring and summer so anyways um, I drove around um, right now I went on a night drive and I was listening to some blues music on my YouTube algorithm some really good stuff actually um, I forget his name already but it was something blue like his, his nickname was blue and then I don't know what this full name was but he had one song it's like who's fooling who and there was such a bar in it he was, it's not a rap but like there's such a bar um he was saying like you said you were with your best friend i know you were lying because you spent the night with me so who's fooling who so who's fooling who it's funny as hell um i love shit like that um I like this kind of player blues type music um I think he, he must have been like a blues guy in the 80s or something. Like he's older now. Um, but yeah, it was a decent day. I'm going to unwind and watch a movie and then go to bed. Um, I'm not really a nightlife guy. Like, this is filmed on a Friday night. I'm kind of at home doing this. I did do a bit of a drive, but like, I'm not, I'm not like a drinker. Um, my dad was an alcoholic and I went through a big like alcoholic phase and like when I'm out drinking it just dulls me and then I just keep drinking and it's not fun I don't like to stay up too late um I'm more of a homebody at this point in my life I did um walk downtown not so much at night um I think I did my my like walk downtown maybe around like six or seven um that's when my boss texted me and it's just, like it's nice to see like there's some people out just eating like some f street food having like some ice cream um there's some guy selling wolf tickets he's like oh what's up homie what's up homie and i just kind of laughed at him like there's always people like that and it's it's kind of entertaining to see people like that i went to this park downtown there's people playing basketball and soccer it's kind of cool um yeah so it was overall a good day but I was a little antsy all day because I couldn't really um, do anything. Like, it wasn't a gym day. It wasn't a work day. And some days when I don't have anything planned and I don't have any, like, direction or chores or anything, I get a little bit antsy. Like, I kind of get, I kind of like to have a task in front of me. I don't, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit stiff when I have free time. Like, I'm kind of uncomfortable with this free time. Like, I kind of like to just be on, like, train tracks going in one direction to one goal that's kind of like what i like to be at that's my default i like i like some sort of work i like to be busy um you know when i'm not busy and i'm doing my own body stuff i like to be reading i like to be learning something i do a lot of like social media scrolling and it's a bad habit but the social media that i do follow it's all educational social media it's all like i don't want to say ted talks necessarily but that's kind of like that's probably a good idea to kind of get your mind in that direction it's like i follow like universities and like um public discourse like columns and and like uh, little debate clubs and things like that i mean i follow like the typical national geographic stuff but it's they're not really posting any National Geographic stereotypical nature or tribe colon, um, colonies or anything of that kind of sort anymore. They're kind of just like um, like a BBC like thing. Like they're just posting like news or like The Guardian or whatever, and it's not the best anymore. You got to find different avenues to kind of learn things now. I think. National Geographic doesn't really teach any anything anymore. At least their social media doesn't. So that's my day. Um, 
once again, I'm thinking, like, hopefully this doesn't get flagged or taken down, because I was saying that guy eats ass or whatever, but I don't think it would get taken down. It might get flagged, like a hater might flag it or whatever, but worst case scenario, it still stays up. It just gets, like, age restricted, and then you have to log in to, to, to watch it or whatever, so it's not the end of the world if this does get flagged like that, but I find, like, the the whole, like, censorship of YouTube thing has gotten out of hand. Like, I think people should be able to say swears and speak their mind a little bit more freely. Um, it's unfortunate, like, that people feel, like, prudish that they can't, like, drop F-bombs or whatever. It's a little bit excessive. Like, it's always been a debate. I know when I was a kid, I used to watch South Park, and it, they always would censor it, and then... There was like this one time on Comedy Central, they said, oh, we're, we're going full out, we're not going to censor South Park anymore. It literally lasted like two days, and then it went back to censored. And they were like, they were so like, committed to it. They were like, they had these like, commercials where they were like, crinkling paper on the phone, and la 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 la, we're, we're losing connection like, to the Karens on the phone complaining. And like, they were like, so like, committed and laughing at it ah, ah, ah we're not censoring anymore like literally two episodes full censored back like complete 180 almost immediately for no reason um so yeah the censorship stuff's always been around i think we got lucky as um i i was gonna say youtubers but just like people on the internet in general like maybe 15 years ago it was like the end of the wild west of the internet where like i remember like all those world star hip-hop websites and like you could go and just watch like someone get the crap beat out of them and like it was just completely like free reign there was like all these fight websites i don't want to be talking about like the dark web even like but there's always been obviously the dark web where you can watch like completely just absurd things like they have like the cartels like cutting people in half i'm not talking about that like i'm not like a sicko that wants to watch that but it's always been there it's still there if you do that or, or into that but i mean like in the normal like casual browser normal people internet it used to be like just like f-bombs everywhere and like people were just kind of just going off on each other and it's kind of like the wild west and I really preferred that like not that I was like a troll although sometimes I would like say some inappropriate stuff or post something that was a little bit edgy or I would go and I would watch like I'd watch the fight videos on world star and like some of those videos were kind of crazy like people were like I don't know even why they were fighting like it was like this whole thing like someone would just fucking yell world star world star and then like everyone would just start beating the shit out of each other it was fucking hilarious but those times are gone um which i mean we're more civil now so you can't complain too hard about it it's nice that people aren't just fucking yelling world star on the street and some fucking guy in like a tank top with like fucking 30 holes on it smashes some guy in the back of the head with a brick like i mean like we've we've been more civilized in the last 10 years which is nice so i'm not completely complaining i'm just saying sometimes it's nice just to fucking let your hair down and just say some f-bombs or like fucking do whatever you want and just kind of just chill and i think we're kind of too prudish now sometimes um but yeah that's my thoughts on that i don't know how it really came to that i guess just because of that old guy that if if you want reference to that story it's in um i don't forget which video that was i think it was my last ramble about my day this old guy just he was staring me down and he went out of his way just to tell me i was doing a lousy job mowing the lawns which is completely false i did a really good job my boss said i did a good job everyone's been saying that i've been doing a good job but he was just fucked in the head basically um which sucks um so hopefully he 
finds peace because he's at the sort of the end of his life at this point. Um, I kind of find this bizarre that I just rolled over 20 minutes and I didn't even work today. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't do much. So I've been talking more, but I've done less today, which is, which is weird. You'd have expected it me to be talking more on the days where I'm doing more stuff, but I guess I'm just kind of chatty right now, which is weird too, because no one's here. I'm just kind of doing this parasocial talking right now. I'm like this independent solo cast almost type ASMR thing, um, which seems to be working bizarrely because people have been requesting I do more of these, and I appreciate that. I just rolled over 7,000 subscribers on this channel, which is really cool. I hope to get more. I hope to be just breaking barriers and maybe roll over 8,000 sometime in the summer would be nice. Get into the YouTube Partner uh, Program, which I was in the YouTube Partner Program when it was easier to get in back in like 2014 or 2015 when I was doing kind of more just reviews about um, like skincare products or like the bleach test on silver. I had that video. Just kind of like these old knickknack kind of like how-to videos that I was doing at the time. And YouTube was actually paying me like for, for those videos. Like I was getting like three or four hundred dollars a month for those videos. Um, which was really good. It was, it's helpful to get every dollar you can, especially um, with the way inflation's been going on. And I think if these um, videos get successful and I get monetized again, um, and I'm making money like that, I was thinking in the back of my head today, maybe save up to do my own lawn business, buy like my own mower and my truck, and then just kind of do some like side contracting lawn mowing things um, and see how far I can kind of take that. But that's just a pipe dream at this point because this channel is doing well, but it's not bringing in money and it's not doing that well, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, if anyone wants to leave any movie recommendations in the comments, I would appreciate that because I'm kind of at the time where I'm kind of running short on movie ideas and I think over the last month or so I've been doing about two movies a week maybe one week usually on Friday or Saturday night I do a movie now um, I haven't really watched any movies in like the past year or two because I've been too busy with other things and I've been kind of more of a reader the last couple of years um, I got my library card like maybe three or four years ago and I've just been kind of just hitting the books. Um, I've been buying some books on Amazon, like things like that, but I'm kind of looking to be a bit more relaxed, maybe do a couple movies, still do a book, but do this movies as well so I can kind of just chill a bit more. Um, I've been saying like earlier in the video, do the beach a bit more, listen to some music, maybe just vibe a little bit more, go to a coffee shop, you know. I just want to be a little bit more of a beach boy this uh, this season here. A little bit more mellow, a little bit less high strung, but it's hard for me because I do have a drive and I see when I'm not working, I'm always trying to do like these long hikes to just kind of burn myself out. Like I always got my uh, wheels spinning. I always want to be doing something like I'm hands on. Um, and that's what it, that hike, um, I talked about was about like it's a big incline like it's gonna take probably four hours to do and it's all like just grunt work going up there but I've never been on that side I've climbed the opposite side of the creek before like two seasons ago but that side of the creek I've never climbed and it's a bigger climb and I was I wanted to do it with my ex-girlfriend um, and I wanted to do it with my dog my ex-girlfriend's obviously my ex, and my dog passed away, so I want to do it myself. Sometimes it'd be like that, um, and that probably will make it even a bigger accomplishment. And it brings me back to my childhood, where I was just grew I grew up rural in the country, and I was just climbing mountains all day and um, drinking and smoking weed, which I don't do anymore. And I probably shouldn't have did that, done that when I was like 14 with a developing brain. It's 
definitely stunned me in some ways with complete tr transparency in in that area like it my short term memory is definitely not where i want it to be and that's kind of one of the reasons i like to read is i like to just maintain what i have and try not to d decline any more than what my teenage and pre-teenage years were being that stoner drunk kid that was smashing bottles on the street yelling at teachers and you know carrying knives and stuff and i don't recommend that to anyone but when you grow up in the countryside and the whole community is kind of alcoholics that's just kind of the culture you you grow up in and it's unfortunate and um we can do better and i don't like seeing people pounding beers at a work site and I don't call them out and I don't say you can do better. I don't want to be like a prude or an asshole and then just get laughed at by all the guys at the work site. But I don't like seeing it because it dulls you every can. It's like, I don't know how many points of, like, on your IQ it'll add up to over the years or how many brain cells it kills. But the whole buzz of alcohol or marijuana or any drug, that's your brain cells dying. That's what produces that that buzz that dopamine it is like the death of brain cells basically so anyways i think i want to wrap this up now i'm at 26 and a half i might wrap it up around 27 28 i don't know exactly but i think this is my longest asmr whisper video i don't know how long of a retention i'm going to get on this video maybe someone will fall asleep to it i'm not sure um but I wish everyone the best day that they can have, either today or tomorrow. I think everyone needs to relax every now and again. Some people probably need to relax all the time because there's some pretty high strung people with blood pressure through the roof. You don't want to be out working all the time. You want to take some time for yourself if you're working all the time. You're going to break your body down. You're going to feel sick over, over over the course of your life. You're going to just get bitter and resent things. So you need to take time for yourself. You need to light a candle every now and again. You need to just let it go. Um, take a bath if you need to. Um, do some yoga if you need to. Do some breathing exercises if you need to. You know, talk to somebody if you need to. Um, but you got to look after yourself. Like if you had a car and it had to be a car for life, you'd want to mean you'd want to change the oil and maintain the tire pressure, do everything. So do that to yourself as well. Um, that's what I'm going to leave uh, this video at. It's just a little bit of a positive note to remind everyone to take care of yourself, stay hydrated, drink water. Um, it's going to get hot this summer. I don't know where you are. You could be in Antarctica. It's probably going to be even like a couple degrees hotter in Antarctica than usual. Instead of being minus 70, it might be minus 60. I don't know. But stay hydrated. Stay in the shade if it's a drought where you're at because summer's coming early this year. And as always, I hope everyone's having a great life. I wish everyone the best. And blessings and peace to everybody. I love you all. Thanks for showing up to this channel. Thanks for watching it. And uh, peace out.